Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and I've got another short Dragon's Dogma tip video for you. Today it's about, well, ease of life, making your life easier and making sure your life lasts a bit longer. Basically this is how to grab a whole bunch of party-wide healing items, hundreds of them, very easily. It's just a little bit time consuming. We're talking, well, 5-10 minutes maybe, not too long really. First up you're going to want a port crystal and you're going to want to set it down at the healing spring at the very north end of the map. You could do it at any healing spring style place but I think this is the best one and this is the one we're going to use for this video. As it's a very handy location for other reasons, if you have an escort quest to that location, voila. Plus it just makes sense to me to put port crystals in the corners of the map. If you don't know how they work, port crystals can be put down and picked up and put down somewhere else at any time, and they allow you to teleport to them via fairy stones. You could think of it as a fast travel system, only that you create your checkpoints, so to speak. The eternal fairy stone with dark arisen upgrades and the steam edition is unlimited use, thankfully, that makes things much much easier. You can grab a port crystal on the way to this location too, as it happens but you might run into some nasty creatures at night so you might want to plan your you might want to plan your journey a little and that's if you're interested that's how the original dragon's dogma was at release there was hardly any fast travel so every single journey had to be planned out in advance it it was fun but it did get a bit tiresome once you get into new game plus and stuff so i'm not i'm not too sad to see it go but if you visit the hill with the large painting on and enter the cave you can find a port crystal in there you can also find one at the end of the Lure of the Abyss quest which you receive upon visiting Grand Sorin. When you go down the big winding staircase right at the bottom, there's a thing you have to examine, and on top of that thing is a port crystal, so make sure you pick it up. Then, once you have the port crystal set up, you can warp back and forth to Grand Sorin easily enough. Next up, you'll want to buy a lot of empty flasks from the merchant in Grand Sorin near the inn. They're like really cheap, I bought. 200 plus and it was like 3000 gold it's it's nothing once you've got them use your fairy stone and go back to the spring and <laughs> just bottle up the spring water pretty much you can give your empty flasks to your pawns as well and they'll help bottle it but they will stop bottling once they have 10 in their inventory so at that point you'll probably want to move it from their inventory to say your inventory or just designate one pawn as the spring water holder whilst you let the others continue to bottle water, 10 at a time. Spring water itself heals your entire party for a bit, and with this you'll be able to have practically an unlimited supply. It's handy because I know a lot of people don't like how in Dragon's Dogma your, uh, your total health gradually depletes if you don't use healing items and stuff, so this means you can focus on other curatives such as things to cure status ailments, and basically it means you don't need to worry too much about just healing items and curatives. Of course, if you think it's too exploitive, just, you know, just don't use it. It's a handy way to get other things too, as you can use spring water for combining materials, but in the end, you know, it's up to you, it's just an option. Of course, if you didn't know about port crystals or the healing spring, that's another tip in itself, because you can always just teleport to the healing spring and sit in it for a while. Either way, Good luck out there. 